All right, Dream Team, it's Hato here, and I've got another cracking spot for you guys to check out south of Coral Bay, WA. I'm beach camping again at its finest with the leader expedition in the background. Mate, this place is superb. Let's go have a look. Well, 14 mile beach camping at its finest. Mate, this place is a dead set gem. And the good thing about this place, guys, for only $8 per night per person, you can secure yourself a waterfront site. Now, we're on site 26, which is just to the left of me. Um, now, that is a beachfront site. Now, the good thing about it, though, is that the beach, the sand, is quite compact, so there's not really a risk of getting bogged uh, like many beach camps. So that's a really, really positive, uh, really, really positive thing. However, you are right on the ocean. Like, that is the ocean behind me. The caravans are in this line up here. Mate, she is right on the ocean. There's no bay. It's pretty well open. So what that means is that if the wind picks up, you're pretty well exposed. So make sure you have a look at your weather forecast. Make sure uh, that uh, that you try and time it to get uh, to get that wind nice and good for you. Otherwise, we spent a couple of nights here and have been blown all over the place. But any good days like this, and it makes it all bloody worth it. So $8 per night, and access is really quite easy. Um, you've got about 15 to 20 minutes of dirt road, corrugated in patches, let your tires down just to comfort your ride. Um, but it's nothing, nothing, nothing to be super worried about. I have seen two wheel drive, um, or sorry, on road vans in here. I still would bring a four wheel drive um, car though, um, but I have seen on road camper trailers and, and boats and all that sort of stuff because as I said, the sand isn't overly, um, overly soft, it's actually quite hard. So we're on site 26, pretty much anywhere from 14 to 28 is beachfront. Um, they're all pretty much identical. You are even close together though, so keep that in mind. Sites 4 to 13 and the rest of them uh, have a little bit more protection from the dunes and everything. So pending your weather, you might want to uh, you know, pick your site in accordance to what the weather forecast is. This place, you can fish off the bank, you can squid right at the front. It is not a sanctuary as you can see behind me. It is absolutely glassy. We're going to go for a squid first thing tomorrow morning. Apparently they've been catching good squid off just out in the weed beds out here with little squid jigs. So uh, that's the plan of attack, but mate, facility wise, pretty much nothing, got bins and you've got a dump point. So make sure you stock up your food, stock up your water uh, before you come out. But remember, Coral Bay is only about half an hour away as well. Anyway guys, we'll catch you a bit later. Well, when you're coming a 14 mile, you definitely gotta be bloody getting on a boat or find a mate with a boat and come out come out squid jigging because we've loaded up this morning on massive, absolutely massive squid. Check Odes out on the action now. Go Odes. There we go, get in. Yes Odes, oh Jesus. my god. <laughs> oh look at the rubbish coming out of it. What do you reckon about that mate? Nice. Mate, 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 look at it. <laughs> 